there. We're so glad to have you back for Quaint's next training session within the Accounts Receivable Job function, specifically BP Aging in SAP Business One. For anyone that has ever been in the AR space, you recognize the importance of a real-time customer aging process and understand how it behaves. Let's take a look. Within SAP Business One, there is a built-in customer receivables aging report that serves as a daily tool for an accounts receivable specialist. To view and work with the report, navigate to Business Partners, Business Partners Reports, Aging, and Customer Receivables Aging. As you can see, there is another report called Vendor Liabilities Aging that coincides directly with Accounts Payable, so we won't review that at this time. On the Customer Receivables Aging Selection Criteria window, the default method to run the report is grouping by customer. It could be beneficial to run the report grouping by sales employee if those sales employees also serve as accounts receivable within your organization. Let's continue running the report grouped by customer. Here, you can enter a single customer code or range of customer codes to run the report by. I will leave this blank to include all customers when I run the report. If I am the AR specialist responsible for the high-tech customers, I can choose to run the report for the high-tech customer group only. Again, in this case, I will run the report for all customer groups to get a full picture of the accounts receivable for my business. By clicking on the control accounts, you can choose to run the report for only specific GL accounts, domestic or foreign, for example, as shown here. Below, you will see the aging date. This is the date that the SAP report uses to determine the age of the receivables. The first time that you run the report, the aging date is automatically populated with the current date. Afterwards, the aging date displays the date that was last input into the selection criteria window and will need to manually be updated. The interval dates are automatically populated as well. Think of these as the aging buckets that the report classifies the receivables into. They can be updated based on your business requirements. You can further filter transactions based on different date ranges. Some additional filters are listed below and can be used to alter the output of the report based on your data needs. Let's run the report as is and take a look at the results. Here, you can see a list of all customers with outstanding AR balances, including their total balance due and a summary of their total receivables in each of the aging buckets that we defined on the selection criteria screen. At the bottom of the window, the accounts receivable specialist using the report can also view the breakdown of the receivables across the company to identify if they are meeting the business goals. Or they may use this breakdown as a data point in their decision-making around receivables and updating payment terms for high-tech accounts, for example. Since I am using a demo database with old data, the majority of my receivables are in the 121 plus aging bucket, meaning that they are over 120 days past due. If we look further into the data, using Earthshaker Corporation as an example, we can click on the black arrows to expand the results. If I scroll down, I can see that I have a more recent transaction for this customer. In this case, the payment for the invoice number 1049 was due on August 7th and there is still an outstanding unpaid balance of $3,065.63. That is 61 to 90 days overdue based on my aging date of October 18th. If needed, you can use the golden arrows to drill down into the transaction itself to get more detail. If I collapse the results again, 
I can see that I have a value in the future remit column for the MaxiTech customer. Let's take a look. Again, if I scroll down, I can see a few very recent transactions for this customer. The balance values are listed in the future remit column as they are outstanding balances, but are not yet past due. You can tell by reviewing the due dates for the transaction in comparison to the defined aging date. You can see that the due date for these transactions has not yet passed. The customer receivables aging report can be expanded completely or collapsed and exported to Excel for data manipulation. This can be done by clicking on the Microsoft Excel button in the SAP toolbar, or right-clicking anywhere in the grid and selecting Copy Table, and then pasting the data in Excel. Of course, this report can also be exported to PDF or printed. There are quite a few different standard SAP print layouts that can be useful. Within the Receivables Aging Summary Report option, the Business Partner Aging with Chart Layout provides many valuable data points. This includes the Aging Overview and Top 5 Customers in Aging. It is also very common that companies use dashboards and widgets for a quick view of these data points. There are many useful AR and aging widgets in the SAP Business One version for HANA, or by using some dashboarding tool such as Boyam B1UP dashboards, for example. On the other hand, the detailed receivables aging report is of course going to be more granular and display each individual transaction. The customer statement reports will be saved for discussion during its own training session. If you have any questions on the Customer Receivables Aging Report or print layouts related to the report, please be sure to contact your SAP partner for more information. Another way to review the Customer Receivables Aging Report is on a customer-by-customer -customer basis. Let's say that you are now viewing the Business Partner Master data for Earthshaker Corporation as you have some inquiries about their outstanding balances. If you have proper permissions, you can drill down into the customer's account balance. You notice that the customer has over $1 million of outstanding invoices, and you want to identify the age of those outstanding receivables. Are they overdue? Did we recently invoice the customer for some large amounts? Within the account balance for Earthshaker Corporation, you can click on the Aging Report button in the bottom right corner of the window. This brings up the selection criteria window that you are now familiar with, but automatically populates the filter for Earthshaker's customer code. When you click OK, you can see the breakdown of the $1 million of outstanding invoices. Identify that the majority are very much past due and determine how you want to take action. Overall, it is extremely crucial that employees with some type of accounts receivable responsibility within the company have access and become familiar with the Customer Receivables Aging Report within SAP Business One. Until next time!